Okay, so I'm going to be talking you through adding the client side files for a new item on Ragnarok Online. Uh, you'll start by going into your data folder and opening up seven files. Uh, you'll need the ID num2 files, these three, uh, the item slot count table, and the three num2 files. I suggest getting a good editor like PSPad that will open them in tabs so that it's much easier to edit. Alright, the first one you're going to edit is ID num2 table sorry, ID num2 item desk table. Uh basically the easiest way to do this, especially when you're first starting, is to just find an item similar to the one you want to create and copy it and paste it at the bottom of the file. I've already added a line here for custom items and I'm going to paste that here. Right, first of all you need to change the ID. In this case I'm going to use 19,000. You can use as many lines of description as you want. Basically here you would put the general description of the item and also any of the effects that it might have. If you don't know how to word an effect, usually there might be an item with the same effect that you're looking at adding. Just find that one and copy the description there. So basically, you can add stats here. Usually they're separated by a comma, like you can see here. Alright, these little codes here are actually color codes. You can get them from Photoshop if you want to change them. Otherwise you can just use the standard ones that Ragnarok already uses. I'm just going to leave the effects the same here. Obviously you would change them depending on what you've got on your item script in your database, which I'll go through on another tutorial. Alright, you also need to edit the item types here, the weight and whatnot. Uh, in this case we are making an armor. The defense is going to be 40. The weight will change to 70. Property, pretty much you can change that to whatever property you want. Or just leave it wind. Required level 100 and applicable job warlock. Of course, you can change applicable job to things like every job or third classes only or transcendent only. And sometimes you can also add a line for gender. In this case, we don't need that. Um, so that's pretty much all you need to do in that file. For the next file, you would open up the ID num2 item display name table. Here you're just going to add the ID number, followed by the name of the item using underscores. Okay. Next, we're going to do this file, which is the res name table. And in here, this is basically where you put the sprite name. In this case, it's going to be example item. Like that. It's much easier if you keep everything the same. You, you keep the sprite file same, name the same thing as what it will be named in game, just to keep everything a bit more organized and easier to add. Uh, now you're going to need to edit the num2 files, which are basically the unidentified versions. In this case, I would just copy the default script for an unidentified piece of armor. I will change the ID number. And the weight is going to be 70 like we put on the original file. Next, you go to the to the display name here, you just add the ID, and in this case it is an armor. That's all you need to add there. Obviously, if it was a headgear, you would change the headgear and so forth. Next is the res name. Again, this is the sprite for the unidentified version. Sometimes it is different. Uh, in this case, it's just going to be the same to keep things simple. Okay. 
Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to edit directly in the data folder. You also need to add the sprite and texture files. In your sprite folder you should have one that looks like this. Basically in here you'll put the sprite and act file that came with your sprite that you downloaded. Uh, usually these are included. Sometimes they're not and you might need to create them yourself but I won't go into that because I'm sure there's plenty of guides. Um, make sure it is named the same as what you've been using in all your files. You'll also need to go into your texture folder into the one that looks like this collection and add the BMP there. That's basically the picture that appears when you right click on the item and also in the item folder you need one there too that appears in your inventory. Now that's all you basically need to do for any item that doesn't require a view ID so anything basically that's not a headgear that's how you do it. Uh, obviously if you want to use a sprite that already exists for say a potion or something you would just change these sprite names here as required. You'd find the item that you wanted to copy and use that file. It's really simple. Alright, if you do want to do a headgear, you do have a couple more steps. Uh, basically, also in your sprite folder, you'll have one looking like this. This contains two folders for each gender. So, one is for female and one is for male. The female should contain the actual sprite. This isn't the one that you see when you click and drag from your inventory, it's the one that you see when it's equipped in the character. So make sure you don't swap them around by accident when you are adding a sp sprite. You'll also need the same thing in the male version, obviously using your 32 thing. Um, you'll also e need to edit two more text files. You need to open your Lua files folder and then go into the data info folder, open accessory name.lua and accessory id.lua. Now I already have them open and in accessory name I'm just going to copy one line. Make sure you copy the comma otherwise it can make the game error. And then just change this to example item just like we had before. I also change the name in here as well. Example item. Then you want to open accessory id.lua. Copy the last row again. Paste. And change this to the view id. Basically I'll start with 900, you might want to go a little bit higher just in case Ragnarok does manage to get that high. And you want to change this to the item name as well. So that's pretty much everything. If you do have any errors, check to make sure that you have no typos in your names and that you use them the same across the board. Um, you should really have no issues beyond that and yeah, happy spreading.